Ah, Nevada, the 36th state to enter the Union, and with a terrain that is mostly basin and ranching territory, it's not hard to see where its natural beauty comes from. If you are one of the few people to live in this beautiful desert wasteland, then you've already experienced the horrendous tremors that occur throughout the basin. Don't worry, they aren't earthquakes, but rather large prehistoric underground carnivorous worms known as graboids. Now before we get into the safety, let's take a brief look at the history of these monstrous grubs. Graboids were originally discovered in Rejection Valley by mine owner Hiram Gummer, who first discovered the fossilized eggs. The graboids that inhabit Nevada today are the offspring of those found by Gummer himself. However, because these graboids threatened the community, Gummer had to hire notable gunslinger Black Hand Kelly to help dispose of them. Unfortunately, Kelly met his demise. After a large gunfight, Gummer eventually subdued the monsters, and later moved into the valley and renamed the town Perfection Valley. It wasn't until 1990 when they resurfaced after all these years, and seismologist Rhonda LeBeck stated that given the fossilized samples, graboids predated the Triassic period, and that there is indisputable evidence that they first came into nature around the Devonian period. The name Graboid was coined by Perfection Valley store owner Walter Chang before he was ironically eaten by a Graboid. A big question on all our minds is, what exactly does a Graboid look like? Well, in simple terms, it looks like a giant python. The etymology of the Graboid is surprisingly uncomplicated. The average Graboid ranges from about 30 to 35 feet long and they have a very thick outer skin that's similar to the hide found on cows. In order to move through the ground easily, there are large, scale-like appendages on their outer skin that serve as a sort of shovel. As the graboid tunnels through the ground, these scales push and dig the soil and rock back as it moves forward. The head of the graboid is a giant black armored beak. The top of the beak resembles a beak that is normally found on certain birds but the lower beak is broken up into three separate jaws, which can make it easier for the graboid to swallow its prey. Within each mouth of a graboid, there are three mini serpentine-like tentacles. These tentacles are extremely powerful, and they can range to about 10 feet long. They are smaller than the actual graboid, but their mouths are filled with razor-sharp teeth and horns that are on the top and bottom of their heads. These prehensile tentacles are usually used for grabbing prey and dragging them underground. Now that you know the history and the etymology of a graboid, you are now ready to know how to prevent yourself from getting eaten by them. Number 1. Graboids are sightless, so therefore they hunt with sound. A key rule to remember is after a tremor hits, refrain from making any kind of sound whatsoever. Should you find yourself in a threatening situation, improvise. Number 2. Hiding in your car during a graboid attack is generally not a good idea. Those mouth tentacles can still drag a car into the ground. Number 3. Graboids are very smart, and they learn from their mistakes. However, you can still trick them into ramming their heads into thick stone or thick rock. Number 4. During a tremor, avoiding large hills or small mountains are generally a good idea. Number 5. Using any kind of power tool that digs into the ground should be avoided. There is no telling whether or not you might hit a graboid. Number 6. Avoid flimsy shacks or buildings or trailer homes. They normally can't withstand the tremors. Number 7. Fortify your residence with a thick concrete fence both atop and under the perimeter of your house. Also, building up artillery and investing in, a, in seismographs are urged. Number 8. Avoid going out into large open areas. Number 9. Moving out of the country and into a populated place is strongly encouraged. Number 10. Don't kill graboids. They are endangered species protected by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. So now that you know a little about graboids as well as some safety precautions, we hope that you take these rules very seriously. If you follow those simple instructions, then we guarantee that you'll have a great life here in Nevada. And that's all we ask. From all of us here at the Battleborn State, we wish you good luck and have a great time.